hello everyone welcome to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have x squared minus 1 equals x plus 1 square root uh, so we solve this problem for the values of x uh, here we have one condition is that x is not equals to 0 or it means that we solve this problem for the non-zero values of x so here first we uh, remove this square root sign so that in order to remove this square root sign now uh, we need to take the squares on both of the sides so when we take square it will be written as x squared minus 1 whole squared equals to square root of x plus 1 whole squared so you see that this two and square root are gone and uh, we have x squared minus 1 and it's a whole square so here we use the nice square identity and we know about this identity uh, this is written as x squared add its whole squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times of x squared into 1 is equals to x plus 1 okay so further uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, this will becomes x to the power of 4 plus 1 square equals to 1 and this is written as minus 2x squared and now we move these two values in the left hand side and it will become minus x minus 1 equals to 0. So further you see here uh, this is plus 1 and negative 1 are cancelled by each other and we get here x to the power of 4 minus 2x square minus x is equals to 0. So further here we take common x from all of these terms and the remaining terms are x cubed minus 2x square uh, x cubed minus 2x and minus 1 is equals to 0. So uh, further uh, in the next step here we divide this into the two cases. So here first we take this x is equals to 0 and the second case is we take uh, x cubed minus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So from this case we have x equals to 0 uh, but in the start of the problem we will say that our x is non-zero so it is not possible to x equals to 0. We rejected this case and now we can just proceed here this case only. And now in this case here we need to solve this cubic equation so uh, its order is 3 it means that we need to find the 3 roots of the given equation and after that we check uh, how many roots are satisfied the given equation. So here first we uh, rewrite uh, this uh, equation as this is x cubed and here we first add and subtract x squared. So this is addition and subtraction of x squared and we break this minus 2x as minus x and minus x and this is our minus 1 equals to 0. So further here we need to take common x squared from the first two terms and after that we get here x plus 1 and here we take common minus x and we get again x plus 1 and here we take common minus 1 and we get x plus 1 equals to 0. And now you see here all of these terms involve the factor x plus 1 uh, so that here we take common x plus 1 and the remaining terms are x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. And now in the next step here uh, we again divide this into the two cases so our first case is we take x plus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. So in that case uh, we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 1 and uh, uh, this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to solve this quadratic equation we need to apply the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals 1, b equals minus 1 and c equals again minus 1. So our quadratic formula is stated as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here uh, we need to substitute the value of a, b and c in this formula and it will be written as minus into minus 1 plus minus 
square root of b square b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and this whole is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also 1 and now in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as plus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square is 1 and this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we can just simplify the terms and you get the other two roots of the given equation are 1 plus minus square root of 5 and it is divided by 2 and now here further we break these two equations so uh, here um, we write uh, finally we write the three roots of the given equation are the first root is x1 equals to minus 1 the second root is we write here the positive value it is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the third root of the given equation is 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here if we convert this uh, into the decimal form so uh, this whole term uh, is approximately equals to 1.618 and this term is approximately equals to uh, minus 0 0.618 okay so uh, first root is x1 equals to minus 1 so these are the three roots of the given equation and uh, uh, now here we check uh, how many roots are satisfied the given equation okay so uh, to check the roots here we need to copy down the given equation so the given question statement is x squared minus 1 equals square root of x plus 1 and now we substitute the uh, above three roots in this equation so our first root is x1 equals to minus 1 and now we substitute this root uh, in the above equation and it will be written as uh, minus 1 squared minus 1 equals to square root of minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 square becomes 1 minus 1 and this is 0 so you get 0 equals to 0 it means that uh, x1 equals to minus 1 satisfies the our given question statement and now we check uh, the second root so our second root x2 is equals to 1.618 and uh, now we check the behavior of given equation uh, from this value of x so it will be written as uh, uh, 1.618 squared minus 1 equals to square root of 1.618 and plus 1 okay so uh, further in the next step if you can uh, open the square of this term then you will get here 1.617924 uh, so here we check is the uh, and uh, if you add these terms and you take the square root of this term then it will be equals to 1.618023 okay so you see here uh, both of the sides are approximate equal uh, to 1.618 okay it means that second root is also satisfies the given equation and now we check the behavior of third root so our third root is x3 equals to minus 0 0.618 so when you substitute uh, this root uh, in the above equation then our above equation is written as minus 0 0.618 squared minus 1 equals to square root of minus 0 0.618 plus 1 so here uh, if you can uh, expand the square of this term then it will be written as minus 0 0.6180 first you open the square of this term then you subtract it by minus 1 then you get minus 0 0.6180 and you see here it is not approximately equals to 0 0.618 okay when you subtract 1 minus uh, 0.618 is equals to plus 0.618 so you see here this is negative and this is positive these are not equals to each other so we uh, it means that our third root is not satisfied the given equation it means that third root is is the extraneous root of the given equation so finally we have the two roots of the given equation are 
x1 equals to minus 1 and x2 equals to 1.618 these are the two roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos